Hi, my name is Lynn. Welcome to Prairie Points Quilt Shop in Pinocchio, Alberta. Today we're going to discuss how to put bias binding onto your quilt. We're going to start with a piece of our what we call a prairie quarter in our shop. It's actually Canadian quarter cut approximately 20 by 22 inches. We have a salvage edge, which is the straight of the grain of the fabric where there's no stretch. We're going across the grain of the fabric, which has a little bit of stretch. But we're going to work today with the bias edge that has the most stretch because we're going to try to get around a corner. So we're going to start by laying our piece of fabric down on our cutting board. We have the salvage edge which we know to be with the grain of the fabric. What we're going to do is we're going to bring it down to the cut edge. In essence to create a bias edge. Lots of stretch there. We're going to fold this again. And we're going to work on this bias edge. So we're just going to keep folding along the bias edge until we have a piece small enough that we can manage. So just to show you that again, is we've brought the, the uh, salvage edge down to the bottom. We've got the bias edge. We're going to come across the bias edge. And we're just going to go across the bias edge again. So what we're going to do is when we've got all of this lined up here, is I'm actually going to cut the first little bit off. I'm going to line the ruler up on the bottom so I'm nice and square. And I'm going to take off this unnecessary piece here. And we're going to now work on making a biased binding. So I'm going to give this a turn around. You don't like to disturb the edges when you're making bias cut binding because they tend to distort very easily. We're going to do a two and a half inch. So I've got one, two and a half, and I'm going to cut several strips here and I'll show you how to join them together. Bias bindings work wonderful on any curved quilt. Sometimes you find you end up with a bit of a bacon edge on a straight quilt. If you're having that problem, I highly recommend that you try a bias binding. It tends to be a little more forgiving and it tends to give you a little more leeway because of the stretch in it. So we're just going to cut this quarter right up here. All the two and a half inch strips. And this last little bit isn't enough to worry about. So when we open this up, we have all of these little bits inside. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to fit them together. So in this case, I have to take the salvage off. So I'm going to do that. And we'll clean this one up a little bit too. What I'm using is my half square triangle ruler because I can see that I'm square to the world here and I'm taking it off at that 45 degree angle. So what I'm going to do is just lay out several pieces of this bias binding and we're just going to join them together. And eventually when we get them joined together we'll actually have a piece of binding to work with. So what we'll do is we'll make sure that our bias edges or our, our 45 degree edges actually fit together. We'll flip one on top of the other, making a little tail. We can check it with this ruler and make sure that we have enough hanging out. By placing the little notch again at the top and the two inch mark at the bottom. And I see that we're good. So between the two notches, I need to take off the salvage edge on this one. Again, bring it back, overlap it. Make sure I've got two tails. So we have our bias binding all joined together. So from one prairie quarter we ended up with approximately 13 feet of binding, which is quite a bit to do a, a fairly good sized project. You'll notice now that it's got some wonderful stretch in it. So when we're going to be taking those curves, we're actually going to be able to take them very nicely. What we're going to do now is press all of these over to one side, and then I'm going to press the whole piece in half. 
and then we'll end up with a double folded binding by the time we're done. We now have our full length of bias binding all ready to go. To put it on, you apply it exactly the same way as you do straight cut binding. You just are able now to take curves with this one that you are not able to do with the straight cut binding.